such a pain to close my eyes I'm falling in this deep mess Could you ever show me to Tell me what's the point if I lose myself Spend a couple days with nobody else Holding in my breath just to see if I can find you in my dreams Oh, I'm getting tired of losing faith In everything I see The beauty in the stars above The lust that holds up me Cause I'm a sinner I'm not a saint A heart of a winner So why do I tell
Oh my god. Let me show you what I got. This beat is so hot. Oh my god. Is that bullshit? I think not. Let me show you what I
to push through my past but I
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the ECPI Rams channel. Thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Poison Sweets, and I'm a member of the Rams stream team. Today, we are casting a Rocket League team in the 2024 ECAC spring season. Before we continue, did you know that if you have an Amazon Prime account and have it linked to your Twitch, you get a free subscription to any Twitch.tv channel? That's pretty cool, right? So if you can, we invite you to use that free subscription on the ECPI Rams channel to help support our Rams. All proceeds go directly to the esports program. Today, I am joined by Just Timmy. Why don't you tell us about yourself? <laughs> Thanks for the introduction, Poison. Uh, as they said, my name is Just Timmy. I'm a former member of the UCPI Rams Rocket League team, and it's a pleasure to be here tonight. But before we get into the action, we'd like to take a minute to thank uh, our university Rams sponsors, HP Omen and Game Fuel, with this quick video. Welcome back to tonight's stream. Tonight's match features the ECPI Rams versus Eastern Kentucky University Colonels. Now, if you're a current student at ECPI University and would like to try out for the Rams, please go to ecpi.edu slash esports slash tryouts and follow the six easy steps to schedule your tryout today. Uh, thanks, Poison. We have three ECPI players taking the field today, and first up is Guacman John, an ECPI Rams Rocket League veteran. John is studying for a bachelor's in mechatronics. Next, we have Arctis. Arctis is brand new to, Rocket, to the Rocket League team, and this season he is excited to show us his skills. Arctis is going for his associates in cybersecurity. And finally, we have Irrelevant. This player just joined the Rams Rocket League team this week. Let's give him a warm welcome. He's also going for a bachelor's in mechatronics. So how do you feel about today's matchup, Demi? I feel like today's match is going to be a nice match. It's going to be a great game to watch, and I believe our, our guys can come out on top as long as they can keep their rotations on and keep working together. Yeah, I know that Rocket League is all about those rotations. You really have to be fast paced and like you always have to be everywhere. I tried the game once and it was definitely not for me. I think it's a little bit too high pace because I would be on one side and everybody else would be on the other side. And then once I'm on the other side, everybody else is on the other other side. I'm like, I just can't okay. do this. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of a lot of people just going all over the place. So I don't I don't blame you. And people game. go fast. There's just so much to Rocket League. Like, I'm really excited to watch today's game and oh. see our professional players, honestly, in my opinion, how to do that because it is something, all right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm definitely hyped for this game. I, I can't wait to see what they're going to pull out today. <laughs> A lots of cars. Yeah, a lot of cars. They got some good designs <laughs> on them. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious if uh, John's going to hit a ceiling shot today or not, but we'll find out. Yeah, about those ceiling uh, shots, like I was doing the training and it told me to like, you know, hit one of those balls that was like really high. And I'm like, how on earth would this car make it all the way up there? Yeah, I try to jump and it's still so far away feel like I'm just flying through the air. I still yeah, can't hit like it. The jumps, the double jumps, you can ride the walls if I'm right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every uh, place in the arena you can put your car. As long every as you got place. wheels on it, you can go. <laughs> oh, 
So how has the team been doing this season? Uh, from what I've seen, they've they've been struggling a little bit, but uh, they've been working some stuff out. And uh, during their last practice, they spent a lot of time working on their rotations, uh, making sure that they, they can work together, pass it to each other, and still have somebody back in case the other team sends it flying. That would be a really good strat to have at least one person stay back because any of the cars are allowed to just go to the goal and just like stop it. it they don't have mm -hmm. like designated spots or anything. So is well, it like yeah. the closest uh, or is there actually like a strat behind it Some in like those games? So the strats behind it, uh, basically it's just, rotating in and out, taking turns, hitting the ball, passing it to each other, setting up plays to score against the other team. And uh, most of the time, the rotations have uh, one guy up front on the ball, one guy waiting for a pass, and one guy back for the clear. And then they just continuously rotate in and out of those three positions. So there's no real set position for anybody, but it's there are really definitely... Certain, right place, uh, right time kind of game. Yes, ma'am. Just wherever you are, you're going to be the one that's like kind of behind. She'll be the one racing to the goal. Mm -hmm. to if you can get to it, ball. you can do it. And then hopefully tossing the ball to one of your teammates that's up ahead. Absolutely. Is it hard to aim it with a car? Uh, It's not really difficult per se. It does take some practice and some time to adjust to it. Uh. I've noticed that myself because I, I tend to miss quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, once it starts getting faster, it starts getting a little bit more dialed in about where people can send the ball and how far or high they can take it. That sounds pretty like hard. Like I remember the one time I played, it was just so hard. Um, the ball never went where I wanted it to go or like... Mm -hmm. I try to like hit it and I just go straight past it because I hit those boosts and such. And all of a sudden I go really fast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Judging the speed of the ball is also another thing you have to take into account. Cause if you're not going very fast or you're not matching speed with the ball, it's going to be difficult to mm -hmm. hit it either way. Would you say that every single car has like, because of the si the designs being like different, would they have like different advantages and disadvantages? Uh, so depending on the cars that they use, I know every car has a different hitbox. Uh, so the way the car interacts with the ball, uh, the way it was designed is like the Dominus is more of a rectangle that's lower to the ground, whereas like the Fennec and the Octane are a bit more boxy, I want to say. I don't know if that makes sense. It, it does make sense. Like... It's kind of like a minivan versus like a Lamborghini mm -hmm. kind of hitbox. Yes. And what, what is your favorite to play with? Honestly, I like using the Fennec myself, but I've, I've played around with the Dominus, the GTR, a couple other cars. They're all pretty interesting. What would you recommend for a beginner? Probably a Fennec because it is the most consistent that I've seen uh, when hitting the ball. All right. Yeah, seems like we're waiting on one other from the Colonel's team. So can you tell us something about the boosts and the demolitions that we might see tonight? Uh, yeah, so it all depends on how everybody's going to play, but if, uh, if they're keeping boosts from each other and keeping it from the other team... It's, it's it might be a good game because the more boost you have and less boost the other team has, faster you can go and they can't. So you want to be the team that has all the boosts technically. If you can, yes, but you don't want to steal it from your own teammates either. Mm-hmm. Okay, so boost starving uh, like they did in the last game is pretty much just keeping the other team from picking up boost uh, the big boost, which gives you full boost. Uh, it's a little bit harder to starve on pads, but it can be done. 
Uh, but yeah, boost starving is just keeping the other team away from the boost and keeping it for all your team. So that would be a strat as well to implement in the game. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. They absolutely did it last week. They did Okay, pretty do well you with it too. do you think that they're going to plan to do that as well this kind of time, or what do you expect them to do? I'm sure they'll keep it as a consideration for if they need to do it. Uh, it all depends on if the other team tries to steal their boost or not. Because if they're getting starved themselves, then they, they might resort to starving their demos themselves to All right. try to combat it. <clears throat> so the game is not just a ball and two goals. It's also like focus on the boost, etc. Like you really have to know where everything is at. Oh, yeah. Definitely need to know where you are on the field, uh, how much boost you have, how much uh, you can use to get to the ball or to make the play that you're trying to make. There's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, it, it kind of blows my mind because whenever you're watching it, it just seems so easy, but then you try to play it and it's definitely not that easy as it seems, I found out the hard way. Oh yeah, it def it definitely takes a long a long time to practice and get used to it. How I, much I'm do pretty you sure. say you play? Like So I have only played this game for like four or five months now. Uh, I stuck with it because I thought it was fun. Tried getting my friends into it. They didn't love it. But uh, <laughs> honestly, it it could be done. If, if you take enough time and actually practice uh, consistently, you can get pretty good at this game pretty quickly. Yeah, like the ECPR Rams, they've probably sink many hours into this game. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure John's got at least... A thousand hours, maybe. That's that's a lot of commitment to Oh, yeah. a game. Yeah, with a game that's, that came out such, such a long time ago. People have been playing it for a while. It's looking like we started. Absolutely. Straight straight into the action. Let's see how they're doing. Okay, so Let's see it, if they can get anything set up. A lot of stuff is happening all the way above the fields. Lots of jumping. So that's the wall riding and Mm hmm There's almost a nice ceiling shot from John there. It looks like they're really well keeping it on the other side of the field. Mm hmm But Yeah, they're it's definitely getting putting very a lot close of pressure for a minute. in. Wow, that was amazing. From like the other side of the field, all the mm -hmm. way. Great clear by Irrelevant there. Other teams It just was couldn't just get completely up to free. it. Absolutely. And that's what you mean with like the rotations. Mm -hmm. You have to yeah, be you there can see so how they're fast. rotating all over the place. Going in uh, behind and in front of each other just to try to keep positions. Yeah, it's going closer to the Ram school right now. But they're pretty fast on the rotations. The second the ball is on the our side, then they're just straight back at the goal. Yeah. From what I've noticed, uh, all three of our players that we got on the field today are What a solid save defenders. right there. Absolutely. That was insane. Perfect place, perfect time. Doesn't look Ooh, like they're uh, that was a really nice going try. for a star of this game. Decent touch from the other team there, but a good clear out. What a save! Again with the saves, they're always right there at the goal the moment that the ball is even on that side. This, that's just rotations that I've never seen. Yeah, it takes some time. Oh, that one is scary. Good defense from our Rams, though. Absolutely. They just know the... where the ball is going before the ball is going to the places. It's just beautiful to see. 
That was a demolition, wasn't it? Yep. That was a great pass, but a great save by Tex. Here's another demo. Oh, that was what close. What a save. Good 50 by Irrelevant to keep it away from the goal. The Kronos are really trying to get it in that goal, but the Rams are always on it. Oh, Ooh. and they score! That was a great shot. Good read on the bounce, and Irrelevant just couldn't get up to it. Yeah. That's just a tough one to save either way. Gamma with a big. So far, it's been a really, really nice game to watch. Oh yeah, it's definitely fast pace. It definitely is. It's so hard to follow. Ooh, Again, a beautiful a save right save. there. They're getting good challenges all over the field. Oh, another That's a goal. good shot by Tex. That was a very unexpected one. Just putting a couple of them out of uh, out of position there so they can't catch up to it. John got bumped in the back, I saw that. So yeah, That's it's not really always fun. about demos. <laughs> Sometimes a little nudge works. Yeah. We're gonna need one in there for the tie. Okay, there's that Guac a with good a good 50 there. in midfield. A couple people miss. It seems they might be going for a little more of a starve situation here as they're taking the other team's corner boost. 60 seconds left on the clock. So one more minute. And another goal. Another goal. That was that unfortunate was a good one. placement. That was a good shot. Good pass too. Absolutely. It's so fast paced, like everything is just going on in the field and I can't imagine playing this myself, especially at such level. Oh yeah. It definitely takes time and practice. Goal. Another goal. They're, they're not fooling around no more. They're definitely not fooling around anymore now. Yeah, they're starting to pick up the pace. One after another. Seems like the Colonels are playing more careful after losing that one goal. Yeah, they do have incredible teamwork. Yeah, Gamma's got so good mechanics too. Good placement. It's a good 50 there from Irrelevant. What just happened there? So, yeah, Irrelevant Another went goal. for a 50 and then ended up just getting pinched back towards the goal. It's a that great follow-up by Tex, one. though. It, it was, it sure was. It's very close. Okay, Arctis, see what you got. Oh, that was a nice try right there. Absolutely, it was very close. The other team's just playing very consistent. Is this a goal? Oh, that would have been beautiful. A last second goal there. Oh, it's still going. Oh, they're so still I going. Guess this is overtime. Do we have a zero second? Oh, that was Ooh, close. That was a really, was really close, close one right there again. On the zero seconds, they just almost scored twice. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a decent first game. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors.
Go say hi. Let him know he's out for a date. All right, welcome back. So, what did you think of that last game? Uh, that last last game seemed very tough for our Rams today, but uh, I think they got some things they can work on for how that first game went. I can't wait to see how they're going to uh, change anything. And it looks like we're going straight into the next game, and the ball went straight towards their goal. That was a quick beginning. Yeah, these games do start out pretty quick. Looks like John switched to a Fennec. Irrelevant is also in a Fennec. Oh, Ooh. that was a really, really close That's a one close right shot against the pole. <laughs> Do you say that in Rocket League? The pole? The goal? The pole. Like the oh, pole the pole? The goal. Yeah. The some people say pole, some people say post. It's, it's all the same. I don't want to sound like an idiot, you know? Nah, you're, you're, turns. <laughs> you're good, Poison. You're good. Nah, you're doing just fine. That's oh, a good back that pass. That was a save right there, followed by a demolition. Another one. Lots of explosions on the field today. Absolutely. They're, uh, seems like the other team is focused on demos today. And bumps. Just to get them out of the way. They might be worried that they, uh, get a little too speedy for him. Oh, that was also a close one for the Colonels right there. Yeah, but that was, that's just great defense by our Rams. Uh, seems like the Colonels are trying to boost starve them. I mean, with all those demolitions going on, I would want to do that as well. Yeah. I don't blame them for the situation. For The great clear by Arctis to the corner. We're getting closer. Question is, can they? Nope. Barely, but it just missed. Ooh. There's many shots on goal right now. Hit the top crossbar on that one. There's a good bump. Unfortunate angle, though. That that was a good goal. That was. It's a crazy angle from him. Mm -hmm. That really was like I'm not sure how you could have predicted that one and stopped it. Oh yeah, that's a tough one. That really is a tough one. All right, we're trying to get on their side again. We're doing all right so far. Looks like they're just playing it wow, safe. That's, that's a great safe. save right there. They are pressuring Arctis really hard right now. They're having some great passes, and I'm just blown away by how they do it. And There's there a great go. shot from Arctis. That was a beautiful goal. Fantastic read off the corner. Off a great 50 from John. Him. He missed, and he scored. Great 50 from John. Great pass. So a 50-50 is pretty much... Uh, how they do every time uh, they go on a kickoff is when two players from both teams uh, hit the ball at the same time. Sometimes uh, so you that's can. That's why it's fifty-fifty. Yeah, it could go either way. A lot of the time, it'll just pinch out depending on how the other players hit it, uh, and it'll just rocket across the field. But a lot of times, it'll oh. just dead stop as well. No! Oh, that was Relevant. so close. That's a great save. That was so close right there. That was very close. close comfort. Another fantastic wow. save. Great clear from Gua. Can he follow it up though? Another save, but this time on the other end. They're really fighting for it right now. It's oh yeah. Safe.
fine. It keeps the ball on the other side. It's a good block on the pass right there. Yeah, they're, they're putting a lot yeah, of was pressure on. Close up. one again. Good demo from Guac. And an open oh, goal. Oh, and it scores. He just saw an opening and just took it. Ran with it. That was beautiful. Walkman John with the demos. <laughs> All right, so we're up one right now. Let's see how they take it. Nice clear. Yeah, with one more minute cross remaining. Field. They're gonna have to score. They're gonna have to, you know. Bring oh the yeah, lead. the the colonels are gonna have to put up a, a bit more pressure if they want to try to take it to overtime before the clock runs out. I think our Rams should put a bit more pressure too. It looks like they aren't do Oh, Oof. that was so close. Very close shot from Twice. Marcus right there. Third time's the charm, right? Absolutely. I think... Uh, this is the wrong side though. <laughs> it'll be alright. They'll recover. <laughs> Okay, they're intercepting passes. Alright. Just a few more seconds left and... Irrelevant passing from the corner. Gets cleared out. But Arctis coming Ooh, in high again, and fast. Almost, Ooh, that was almost, close. Arctis almost kept it up. A last second goal. <laughs> Alright. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back. So, what did you think about this game? Honestly, this game was a lot better than last one. They definitely uh, squared up and were protecting their net. Because you can... Uh, Arctis had three saves. Guac had three saves. The Relevant had a couple as well. So, they're definitely playing better defense this game. Yeah, it was a lot of back and forth this last round. For sure. Oh, yeah. The second game was definitely a lot closer. It was an ill-biter. All right, we're going back into the next game. This is our third game here, right? Oh, All we're right. straight at the other side of the field, Ooh. and that was just so close. I was just holding my close breath for shot. a second. Ooh. Good defense, as always. Just straight going for that ball. Always know where it's going. And oh, it just barely saved it. Oh, this really, oh, yeah. like, I'm holding my breath way too many times this game, you know that? <laughs> and we yeah, just started. It happens a bit. Ooh, it's a close shot from the Colonels. But it is. Again, so, so close. This this game is starting to become an ill-biter for me. Trying not to, but... Yeah, nobody <laughs> scored yet. <laughs> After the last two games, they're definitely bringing it right now. Oh yeah, everybody's picking up the pace. Uh, Nobody wants the ball on their side of the field either. You can definitely see that every single time it comes to somebody's side. It's like, nope, get out of here. And what, what a save. save! That was oh so close. Gosh. Was that Arctis that saved that? Irrelevant, okay. Fantastic save by Irrelevant. It's making my heart beat faster. <laughs> yeah, you tell me about it. I'm, I'm just trying not to hold my breath too much. Oh, this one goes to... Oh, so that close was a again. close double tap. 
very close on the double tap there. Okay, irrelevant. Come on. So close yet again, but they're all right there. <laughs> irrelevant, saucing so hard he makes all three of them go for it. Oh. Text just misses. That was so close again. Yet again. Oh, yeah. Irrelevance on these saves. Okay. There's a bump there, though. Good cover. My goodness. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's like so close over and over on both sides of the field. <laughs> Just every single time. Beautiful saves or nearly misses. Oh, yeah. There's been a few near misses. But it seems like the car control is on point. There's a close shot. It Ooh. Barely comes off the post. It barely did. It really, really barely did. It was a, definitely a good goal though. And he was almost there for the save as well. Oh yeah. Almost there, just came like so a close. little bit short. Yeah, it was, it was very, very close. Talking about Lamborghinis. He would have saved it with one. <laughs> Oh yeah, with that Lamborghini being as long as it is. Ooh. That was Fortunate a real backboard fast one. pass. Yeah. That was a good pass off the backboard. Make him look a little awkward. Those are tough to save. Because they're so close already, like it's really hard to actually be in that spot, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the time when uh teams play oh. Uh, Wait, oh my what? Gosh. That was it. What a <laughs> save by the Colonels there. It bounced up with both holes. That was definitely a fantastic save by the Colonels. Too bad they couldn't capitalize. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if our Rams can. Seems not. But they're going. Ah, so fast. They're definitely trying to get that ball in there. Oh yeah. It's trying to reposition as well, I think I just saw. But... Yeah, it seems like the rotations are pretty on point for the Rams tonight. They really are. You just see like once they're like at the goal, they're just straight up going back. Mm -hmm. The second they're there. Great that save. was just a perfect save yet again. He gets another touch to follow up. Dunks the player. Great pass out mid. Couldn't finish. They're definitely giving it their best right now. Oh yeah, everybody's definitely playing on a very high level today. We just have to wait and see how the plays develop. That was a good clear by him. Hmm. That seems a little awkward to say. Either way. Okay, there's a dunk there. Ooh, that was a good boop against the ball right there. Uh, every single time. Yep. Every single they're, time. They're always getting back to this. There's been a lot of close ones, too. I can't tell if they're trying to make it look better or if they're barely getting to them, but either way, they're making these saves. <laughs> yeah, they really yeah. are. That's a tough game for them. It was good. It was pretty good. And we will be right back after a word from our sponsors. Like, what a game was that, right? 
Yeah, that was a fantastic game. Uh, unfortunately for our Rams, they weren't able to make all of the saves, but John had three by himself, Arctis had two, and Irrelevant even had one himself. It just it seems like they couldn't get the offense going. Yeah, there was so many beautiful saves that game. All right, we're going into the fourth game here. I had to count in my hat real quick. It's already the fourth game. That's it's going by fast. Oh yeah, these games are going by very quickly. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, five minute games could seem like forever, or it could be no time at all. There's a great save right there. Uh, we're starting right off with a save. <laughs> Another one? Okay. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> that was a good pass out middle. That seems could to be... capitalize on it though. Ooh. Oh, that was, a... that was a good one. The soft I touch think. there. Oh, oh my oh, it actually gosh, what in. a shot by Irrelevant. I thought it was a save, but... Yeah, that is the closest save I've ever seen. Wow, that was that was something, all right. <laughs> yeah, fantastic shot by Irrelevant there. That was beautiful. Oh, Open wow, net. straight into... <laughs> That was a real fast goal. Yeah, that was just an unlucky 50 off the kickoff. Yeah. And a good read by the Colonels. It seems like the Colonels are cheating up on kickoffs quite a bit. Because they're consistently getting the next touch after. Yeah, I'm I'm sure there is some way that they're doing it. Fantastic I save right there from Guac. Have no idea. Oh they broke a rule one. Fantastic. <laughs> Another fantastic save. Great clear. Trying to get that ball away in. Text coming they from just across don't the field to try to turn it around. Side anymore. Guac's defense is solid. So is irrelevance. Oh, that was oh, a close shot. Oh, just off of the pole. There's a nice back pass to mid right there. No, no capitalizations today. I would today. call that as a pretty good save right there too. Oh yeah. From the midfield. Oh wow! Great shot by Guac. That was insane. Uh, Fantastic I didn't even pass see him by Arctis as well. I did not even see that comment. <laughs> Let alone if you're playing this game. That, oh, that yeah. was a hard one to predict. I can only imagine how much the. Oh! Talking okay. about fast goals. What a goals. kickoff what by Irrelevant. <laughs> you just went for it and. Well, there's two misses on the Colonel's side. Very unfortunate, but yeah, this is Rocket well, League after all. Yeah. Talking about just kickoff goals, that's crazy. Yeah. And I think it's funny how I just said that the Colonels were cheating up a lot. Now they're still cheating up, but they're not doing as well because our Rams are also cheating <laughs> on the kickoff. Oh, no. But of course, it's gonna be a save again. He is really on point of those saves. I am no, not gonna yes, lie. He, is. he yeah. knows where to be. These guys are very good at reading where the ball is gonna go after every touch. Oh, great! Wow. Ooh, that was that a fantastic was a finish goal. by Arctis. Great that was play. A beautiful goal right there, right off the wall and just straight back in. Right over him. That was a really nice goal to see. Absolutely. They're really showing it now. <laughs> I think we all love seeing goals like those. Especially when they're so close. 
Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, Gam. Oh. They're really fighting for it right now. <laughs> they were really fighting right there. Okay. I don't know if they're trolling or not, but... <laughs> I saw like four backflips right there. There's a demo by Irrelevant. Wow, the again, like to keep right the ball in front of the goal. goal and just not going in. Oh, yeah. And Colonels can't capitalize so with the Rams defense. <laughs> but it's... Oh, yeah. yeah. These rotations are very quick. But also, uh, like we were talking about earlier with the rotations. See how oh, there's one, one guy so back, one guy uh, and he missed, still trying to make it. And the, the poles are just working miracles right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the colonels are going a little too uh, spicy with the shots. A little too fast oh, for them. Uh, no, that was not even close. Oh, okay, and another there's save. a good dodge from the demo. That one would have definitely gone in if it wasn't safe right there. That was a close shot. A little bit of a boost start, bump him out of the way for our team. <laughs> Pex is going up, but he can't okay. get there fast enough. His guac's already there. Let's see how these passes go, though. 30 more seconds. Arctis is back for it, and Arctis with the smooth mechanics. Great recovery off the wall. Ooh, that oh. was a great shot by Tex. Good read on, on the them. ground. He tried to stop it, but... I don't know, it was just a second late? Split second, probably? Oh, yeah. After the first guy missed, he kind of just had to decide whether he wanted to keep going up with it or take it to the ground. Seems like taking yeah. it to the ground worked for him. It sure did. I hope they can capitalize on these passes right here, though. That's, no, oh. it touched the ground. Well, Absolutely. Back, fantastic game right there. Yeah, we'll Great be right back Bart. after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back, and tell me, what did you think about this round? Honestly, this game, just like last one and the one before, is a hard-fought game from both sides. Uh, there were a lot of great plays uh, by Arctis and Irrelevant on, on this one, on, in this game in particular. But uh, we're about to head into uh, our fifth game now. I'm excited to see what they got to bring now because they're definitely bringing the heat today. Oh yeah, they're they're keeping it close on both sides. Uh, this Colonels team is a very strong team, with uh, a couple of them being in Grand Champ. But our 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 Rams wow, are playing very well right against. Wow, almost right of the bat, but a great save right away. Starting out strong, we love to see it. Alright, it's back on our side. Let's see what our relevance got for it. That was, was a good way clear too by close John. For yeah. Very, very close. There's a backflip by Tex. He's going somewhere. Arc is putting the pressure on. 
Seems like a lot of people are out of position this game, though. Ooh, that was a close shot. Ooh. They can finish it, though. Good position by Tex to finish that. Yes, that was definitely, like, good on their part. Great passing. Mm -hmm. That was a fantastic pass. A close shot. Kickoff takes it out left. That was a... Uh, clear. When they bot hit the ball, like, it was almost like it just kind of stopped rolling. Oh, yeah. That yeah, it's crazy. like I was telling you earlier how sometimes it just rockets out when they pinch it together, but sometimes it'll just dead stop. Oh, shit! Arthur Arthas! Arthas right there with a the goal! Can't even stop. <laughs> Well, he just left everybody in the dust. They couldn't catch up. It was a great touch by Arctis. They have such a precision when they're, like, shooting at the goals. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, had a little itch there. Oh, oh there's another fantastic that shot was by a Arctis. really good play there. How did that one even go in? This is... Flying and hitting it, Ooh. and flying and yep. hitting it. <laughs> because of that perfect recovery on the ceiling. Arct is showing out today. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. That was a good fake by oh. Arct is right there as wow. well. <laughs> and yeah, even better shot one. by Irrelevant. Oh, that was a fantastic play between those three. I thought that he was about to get saved, and then I realized it's the same car that was actually scoring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I feel a little bit dumb. Nah, you're good. <laughs> but realizing it was hilarious. So how do you like the car designs from both teams? I, I like this neon green one. Because I like neon green. Oh yeah. I'm right there with you on that one. It's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. But clearly, if they had a pearl pink one or pearl purple, I would still go for it. Yeah, kind of like that one. Definitely. I just don't like there the are way a it few. looks. <laughs> I am very picky when it comes to cars. That's a great save for our Rams. Design. <laughs> Seems like the Colonels are starting to that put a little bit more that pressure. That was but... really close. Really, really close. Is that an uncle? And so was this one. Great shot by John that to recover. Beautiful that timing. Time. What's going on? He just came from all the way. Just run right for it. It was a good read off the touch by the other team. Arc is back on the ceiling. That was very quick that getting up there, but that's really a good save by Cam. Shot at the goal. Yeah, it was. It was a good shot. And a good save with the other team. Yeah, absolutely. They are definitely starting to put more pressure on in the final minutes. What? Wow. A save! But Gamma's gonna get there. And they and save it Gamma again! It's a save! Wow! And it's literally just a drive by save, too. Like, it's not like they're stopping drive in the by. goal or anything. They're just like, oh, you know, like just driving by the goal, just hitting the ball and just keep on driving. I'm like, wow. That was a very close shot by Irrelevant. Fantastic pass out there. The tech's coming close. Those rotations okay. are is on this point. A Ooh, that was a really close one again. That was very close. Oh. Yeah, these Rams are starting to play a lot better in these in these games. Yeah, each of the games are getting like way more fast paced. Yeah, their rotations are on point. Everybody's there for or there's at least one or two people there for a save every time.
Definitely making it harder for the Colonels to score. Absolutely. That's for sure. Seems like the Colonels are starting to get a little too fast for themselves. Losing control a little bit. See a few more misses here. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, wow. Wow, just. That moment, it just looked like the ball was just going in slow motion. Oh, yeah. I think uh, John was going oh, for a crowd. Did we get no? Right there. Nah. Another fantastic game. Every single game. time. Almost a goal of the zero min zero seconds. Oh, and yeah. we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back and talk to me about this game, this last so, round. This last game, I think it was a very fantastic game, especially for our Rams coming out on top. Uh, Arctis showing out huge with uh, two saves and six shots on Cole. He's definitely putting the pressure up. Yeah, it seems like they're literally everywhere on the field. Oh yeah, and they're so fast. They're just so fast to get to everything. Talking about Lamborghinis. Well, we're back in the game. Game six. Yeah, this is match point. Yep. Match point already, and it looked like we just started. And there was a save by the Colonels. Mm hmm. I have high expectations of both teams now. I don't and blame being you. Being a match point and what they brought the last games, I expect a lot now. Yeah, with how crazy these games have been so far, I mean, not a single game has been really one-sided. Exactly. And they've, all, they've recovered after every game so far, so I can't wait to see what they pull out next. Yeah, it's getting more and more exciting every single round. It's like they're bringing more and more fire, and so more far it's been a real back pressure. and forth. Yeah. <sighs> okay, there's a pass by the Colonels. Oh, good that shot was by Gamma. Almost a save. Yeah, almost. that was a very they close were there. save. They were there. Say like a split second. Yeah. Split, split that millimeter. was that was very close on the save, <laughs> but that was just a great pass out. It really, really was. And a good follow up. Seems like the colonels aren't really uh, controlling their boost too much. But everybody's monitoring. That was a close one again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, very, very close one right there. Oh, yeah. The Colonel's barely missed, but luckily our Rams are there to make sure it's not going to go in after. Oh, the <laughs> save right there. Beautiful save yet again. Absolutely. They're definitely playing a hard defensive game. Ooh. 
It seems like the colonels are starting to cut off the passes from the corner a little better. They're also running into each other, but that's... That... Ooh, uh, caught them off guard uh, right there. That is a simple case of boost over ball. He probably was on zero. <sighs> that boost over ball will get you every time. That was a hard shot out from the kickoff. Good touch by Arctis, though. Yeah, Good control. Nice Fantastic save, save right, there. right there. You didn't get a save for it? I didn't save it. That is appalling. Hey, if you Lock don't it. get the save, then you get the goal, right? That's how we do that here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Like, oh, the game don't want to give me that safe. I'll just go and make a goal. <laughs> I guess Epic made up for it. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, great shot by Arctis there. I think so Solid far this defense. game has been like the closest. Oh, sh wow. John just carrying it and into the goal. And it's 2-2 just like that. Oh, yeah. Perfect catch and just like guide the ball all the way. <laughs> Staking it for a walk. Does it seem like uh, they're starting to get a little scared here with the Colonels? No, I mean, do you think the Colonels are playing more scared? Because huh? it, it kind of seems it's like they're maybe. not playing as confidently as they were in previous games. There's but a fantastic save again. So far, this one is like the closest game. Like, oh yeah, this is a very really close game. It's really tied and they're both like really bringing it right now. Yeah, this is a close shot by him. Just trying to bump. Oh, there's a oh. top. It's hard. It oh. saves. <laughs> oh really my on gosh. The line and barely saved that. That was crazy. Just off. Yeah, both teams gonna have to bring it right now because of the time. Oh yeah. So it's, it's a, this game. It's will, a nail this game might right go to overtime. <laughs> Only thing Definitely we can do is wait and see. Great save, Arctis. Nice one. That was so fantastic controlled. positioning. Yes. Arctis's control is definitely next level. I I always enjoy watching him play. When I saw him do that, it just felt like he was just like sitting there, like just breathing regularly, and everybody else was just stressing out. Like, I'm stressing out just watching this. Oh, yeah. Arctis is already ready for it. That's a good fake by him. He got picked up by the Colonels instead, though. Both teams just trying to have the ball on the other side of the field. It's really looking like it. Oh. That was an unfortunate pass. Can they save There's it another again? one by Irrelevant. Over time, let's go. Next goal wins. This is definitely a nail biter right now. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. This is where we find out if uh, if there's gonna be a game seven, or if this truly is match point. Let's see if our Rams can pull it out. Yeah, this is sad. Uh, this is a nail biter. <laughs> I am refraining from touching my nails with my mouth. But oh, yeah. please don't bite in my nails. mind, I'm uh, I'm biting my nails. The teeth chattering. I'm feeling this one. <laughs> the ball just keeps on going to each goal. Like every single nah, time, it's like, it. will they score on this side or will they score on the other side? Will this be the goal or will the next one be the goal? Nobody knows. The relevant trying for a pre-jump that he's just caught out. Arct is there for the save again. Guac trying to take it out to the middle. That was a beautiful catch right there. It's 
Seems like everybody is like exactly where they're supposed to be every single time. <laughs> it's a very, very close one, this. Oh, that one might go in? It's a close shot. It's it's a good clear by Arctis really again. Close. Right over him, crossbar again. Oh, that might it actually just go in. It's just in! in. Wow, it's in. what a way to end this. What a clear by Quok there. He was literally just saving it, wasn't he? And yes. It just bounced all the way in the goal. From one goal all to the, the other. All the way across the field. What a way to end it. That was a fantastic ending. All right. Uh, up next, we have a player interview. We're going to be uh, interviewing Guacman John. All right, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere yet, folks. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have Guacman John here with us. Uh, how how did you feel about that last match? Oh man, the nerves were definitely a little bit high once we got into that overtime. But I mean, honestly, we were just thinking the entire time, okay, we gotta you know hit this goal right here, or you know like win this one out. We get the series. If we do have to play one back, I mean, that just gives us some time to lock in. They were obviously bringing their A game. They were going for a good amount of bumps and stuff like that, and uh, they were playing some some good defense. Uh, but I think we overall played better offense in that. Uh, in that last game yeah absolutely you guys were phenomenal phenomenal on defense as well uh how are you feeling with all the saves that your team was making tonight you feel comfortable with it oh man i mean I, at first like it was a little shaky there it was a little shaky i mean we kind of had to to lock it down a little bit it was more so the position and stuff that we were putting ourselves in and uh once we kind of just got into the mental of it uh we started locking together and just, you know, the the chemistry started actually coming out and and, and showing itself. So um, we started locking down these uh, nice clears and stuff. And I think the confidence started to boost uh, the more games that uh, we played. And you can kind of see that um, in the games and kind of like a progression. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've been seeing through the last few games that you guys have been playing uh, outside of that first game being a little rough. Mm -hmm. Every other game seemed pretty smooth. You guys were solid on defense. You guys were rotating very quickly. Uh, how do you feel about the rotations that were going on in these last few games? I think, I mean, obviously we still have things that we need to work on and stuff. Uh, but once we start picking up speed and the confidence picks up, our rotations aren't too bad. Um, but like I said, any uh, team has growing pains and we have uh, two basically new players um, on the roster for this season. So mm -hmm. it's just trying to get used to each other and uh, feeling each other out and each other's play styles. So we're still trying to kind of mesh 
the rotations uh, for threes and this team together a little bit. So yeah, that is definitely something that we're working on. But overall, I think for the last couple of games, um, once we started picking up speed, it started to kind of move in a lot smoother and everybody started to get in sync. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Um, like you said, the rotations have been something you guys have been working on for quite a while. And I think it showed out in these last few games how just how fast you guys are getting with it. Yeah, I mean, it's like, like I said, I mean, definitely is something that like we're working on our chemistry for and uh, definitely trying to pick up speed is something that we are working on. Um, so that way, uh, our highest uh, rostered player, our ranked rostered player um, mm -hmm. is able to play comfortably. So a lot of us, you know, once we start picking up pace and speed and stuff, it's more comfortable for him to play on the field as well as ourselves. So um yeah, I mean, speed is definitely something, but also making sure that we're keeping up those uh, vulnerable areas and uh, protecting our our net uh, from um, from possible shot opportunities is mm -hmm. even more important. And definitely uh, making sure that we're not getting in the way of each other. Yeah. Uh, you guys have been doing a fantastic job with that, but uh, is there anything else uh, that you've noticed from – this game series that you guys would want to improve? Yeah, possibly a little bit. Um, just a little bit of like the defensive rotation. Um, they definitely need to improve and maybe a little bit more of like uh, when we're challenging the ball. I mean, in the last couple of games, uh, it was a little bit better, but definitely a cu first couple of shaky games. But I think it just clicked. So um, yeah. definitely got to improve upon that in the uh, games to come. And hopefully, you know, just rams all the way <laughs> absolutely uh i do have one more question for you actually but uh do you think it's easier to speed up to match other players or to slow down um i don't think it's easy either way uh maybe a little bit easier to speed up to match other players but there's still quite a large ability like like room for Skill error um, mm -hmm. when you speed up or if you slow down. If a high-ranked player is trying to slow down to meet the uh, skill level of a low-ranked player, they're going to have a little bit of trouble because of the speed and consistency that they're used to playing at. And um, that is one of the things that uh, we're having a little bit of trouble with is that you know we're trying to match each other's speed. And in doing so, um, the rank difference kind of shows mm -hmm. out a little bit. But as far as speeding up too, I mean, there's still some room for error in that in, in that regard where, you know, you end up either like double or triple committing or you end up missing touches because you're not taking your time when you need to. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I, I explain this. Um, the the movement of the game isn't going fast or going slow. It's a wave. You just mm -hmm. have to know when to speed up and when to slow down your plays. And if you're keeping a consistent speed the entire time, then I mean, it's easier for your opponent to read. So being able to control the speed of the game, it benefits you greatly um, in your opponent because you get inside your opponent's head a lot. Um, uh, it's, it's a lot more control and you're able to make more plays with your teammate and, mm -hmm. um, also, more ground plays are played uh, this way, too, because if you're able to control the speed of the play, I mean, fakes, uh, any type of air dribble or anything like that, or even double taps, you have to be able to control your speed, both offensive and defensive. Know when to mm -hmm. slow down, know when to speed up. Absolutely. I feel that. All right. Well, thank, thank you, Guacman John, for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. I hope everybody has a great night. And uh, once again, join us on Friday for some League of Legends. And last but not least, thanks again to our sponsors, HP Omen and Game Fuel. Have a good night.
if I try to push through my past, but I don't even know if I ever fall. Will they even notice? Never care for all the dialogue. I just wanna be alone. <laughs> the only thing I know.